Well, great. Thanks for everybody for joining me, for joining us here. This is a particularly special event for us. Um, each year, students get to select those teachers that they think have committed excellence in the classroom. We should have done this in the new quarter. No, <laughs> excellence in the classroom. And uh, we get to award four trustee teaching awards and our Leon H. Wallace uh, teaching award. Um, the Leon H. Wallace teaching award uh, is an honor of a former dean that served for 15 years up until 1966 and from a generous donation uh, from the Wallace family. Uh, so with that, let me, uh, let me get into it. Uh, I have to say, first I wanted to thank the students. Uh, we had an incredibly thoughtful committee uh, this year uh, with Elena Hobbs, the top-ranking third-year student, uh, Rich Colbert, selected by the heads of all student groups, and Julie Spain, the president of the Student Bar Association. And they provided some really thoughtful uh, uh, recommendations on why they thought certain faculty were most deserving of these awards, and I thought I'd read those to you. Uh, so our first honoree today is for the Wallace, uh, Leon Wallace Teaching Award. And this year, that recognition uh, goes to Professor Don Johnson. Yeah. Let me read to you what the students wrote. Professor Don Johnson is a simply incredible teacher. While there are many excellent educators at Mauer, Professor Johnson takes the time both in and out of the classroom to help mold her students into better lawyers, advocates, and potential law clerks. Those students lucky enough to learn from Professor Johnson are unquestionably better legal thinkers from the experience. In the classroom, Professor Johnson combines broad theoretical discussions with the insight of somebody who has been required to analyze and apply constitutional law at the highest level. Her classes are not straightforward lectures or structured and regimented march through case law. Instead, she uses the case as a vehicle to lead wide-ranging discussions into doctrine, public policy, and the real-world ramifications of theoretical arguments. Through these discussions, students are forced to work through the material as a group, struggling along together as they discover the nuances of the law. It is because of this learning process that Professor Johnson's constitutional law class has proved so influential to countless 1L, uh, Mauer 1L. I'm going to stop because it goes on for several pages. <laughs> but all of them are incredibly eloquent and kind about what a tremendous teacher you are. Uh, Don, it is uh, a great privilege for me to present to you uh, the 2014 uh, Leon Wallace uh, Teaching Award. <laughs> we next have the Trustee Teaching Awards for uh, tenured or tenure track faculty. Um, the first uh, recipient of, of this year's award is Professor Brian Brofman. Uh, Brian couldn't be here today because of a prior engagement, um, uh, but I thought it would also be nice to read the comments that the students have provi provided. Um, Professor Brofman's unwavering dedication to providing the highest quality of learning experience possible in his classes is combined only with his commitment to ensuring a positive student experience. Each semester, Professor Brofman makes great efforts to tailor his classes to ensure that they are both effective and engaging. We praise his use of visuals and in-class strategic games. We're especially fond of the visual aids found in his clear and helpful PowerPoints, which are filled with relevant cultural re references to help students connect with the material. I'm a little worried. Okay, uh, <laughs> students comment that the flow charts are hugely helpful, that they love the shareholder game. Quote, Professor Brofman creates an easygoing but analytically rigorous learning environment. Professor Brofman completely restructured his corporate finance class this year to make the information more, even more accessible. Professor Brofman, quote, talks about the cases in a way that brings them alive. They become not just drab, boring cases, but the controversy and historical, historical context come to light in a new and entertaining way. Quote, this course was much more accessible in Professor Brofman's hands than it would have been in a less skilled professor's. In addition to excelling in the classroom, he has demonstrated his dedication to students through a number of uh, advisory roles, including being an advisor to Law Without Walls. Professor Brofman's enthusiasm for the student projects is simply contagious. Uh, and it goes on. Um, incredibly nice word. Uh, Brian's not here, but uh, we're very pleased and privileged to award him uh, this year's uh, Trustee Teaching Award. Um, our next recipient is Professor Ryan Scott. Um, oh, <laughs> Quote, in the last class, Professor Scott begins every class with these now legendary words. 
Although students can be found quoting it up and down the law school, the words symbolize more than just a fun, predictable, and amusing beginning. It also showcases Professor Scott's dedication to helping his class get the most of this course. Students praised his review of the material. The start of each class is a way for students to remain caught up and engaged. It made for an easy transition to the start of the day and provided review throughout the semester. It also demonstrates Professor Scott's preparedness and grasp of the material. It is well known throughout the law school that Professor Scott is, quote, clearly brilliant. brilliant. <laughs> His brilliance is only enhanced by, by what he does in, in the classroom. Indeed, one student described as an incredibly enthusiastic, thorough, brilliant professor. Another wrote that it seems like Professor Scott genuinely cares about all student success. Finally, Professor Scott brings an energy to his class and helps students engage and participate. Um, students commented, quote, he's excellent at keeping the class focused on the topic at hand, extremely engaging, simply one of the best in that uh, In short, Professor Scott is an amazing professor. Brian, congratulations. <laughs> Our next award goes to Professor Lisa Farnsworth. Congratulations. It is often way too easy for the incredible efforts and achievements of professors working with the graduate students, such as Professor Farnsworth, to go unrecognized. As JD students, it's natural to immediately focus on those professors who we are familiar with from our own classroom experiences. However, it is undeniable that Maurer's LLM program is a major part of the law school community, and equally undeniable that Professor Farnsworth has had an overwhelmingly positive impact on her students. She must be recognized for these incredibly impressive efforts. For many LLM students here working on a thesis or paper to be published, their classes on legal discourse and writing are among the most important practical skills they will learn. Because of that, it's particularly great to see students, given the opportunity to learn from Professor Farnsworth, have gotten so much from her class. Amazingly, every single student who took her course gave her the highest rating last year. The reviews say a great deal with such comments as, she always cheered us I can, so I could complete the course. Professional, diligent, amazing. Her persistence is driving students to do their very best. She's so made it, motivated to help students to work hard. The reviews from all her classes are similarly positive. When one student in her academic legal right class stating simply, Professor Farnsworth is perfect. <laughs> Our last uh, teaching award, uh, adjunct teaching uh, award, goes to Professor Julie Heath. Is, is Julie? Head. Head. Oh, I'm sorry. No problem. Julie Head, or uh, Julie CPA, as she is affectionately known by her students, does more with less than perhaps any other professor in our. She is incredibly deserving of this well-deserved recognition. It's no secret that most law students are not naturally enthusiastic about studying the rules, practices, and implications of financial accounting. <laughs> because of that natural inclination, many people might be surprised to hear that every year, almost every Maurer students are told by their classmates and peers that accounting for lawyers is a must-take course. And every year, without fail, the students who take this advice find um, the professor exceeds even the most glowing recommendations they have ever heard. Professor, he is such an excellent educator for two, for two important and connected reasons. One, she makes complicated information easily digestible, and she makes dry information fun and interesting. There isn't another professor in Maurer with the same ability to connect with students and to consistently get them excited to learn. Her classes are filled with current events that the students can connect the material to, personal anecdotes that help make special concepts memorable, and humorous hypotheticals that allow students to work through uh, the material. Um, Countless students and alumni understanding of accounting today are better because of her hard work and dedication uh, to teaching. Congratulations on this moment. Well done. Well, what a nice event. I think it says a lot about how much we all care for the importance of what happens in the classroom. So privileged that the students did such a thorough job with their thoughtful recommendations. And congratulations to all of this year's recipients. So well deserved. Thank you.